The Lord is risen indeed. Thanks be to God, who giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning to you. I'm Father Jonathan Rowe. I'm the parish priest at St. Michael's Anglican Church, the church in Kenmount Terrace. It's Wednesday, the 7th of April, and we've gathered online to pray the office of morning prayer. And I want to thank you for being with us this morning. I'm going to take a moment to light a candle to symbolize the prayers of the scattered church, which continue to ascend into heaven even if we can't physically gather for worship. You can do the same along with me if you'd like, and when we're ready, the service of morning prayer excuse me, will begin on page 6. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Alleluia, Christ is risen. O come, let us worship. Alleluia. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, O that he would hear his voice, Harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. O come, let us worship. Alleluia. The Psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 97 and 99, beginning on page 454. The Lord is King, the earth may be glad thereof. Yea, the multitude of the isles may be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the foundation of his throne. There goeth the fire before him, and burneth up his enemies on every side. His lightnings gave shine unto the world. The earth saw it and was afraid. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens have declared his righteousness, and all the peoples have seen his glory. Confounded be all they that worship carved images and that delight in vain gods. Worship him, all ye gods. Zion heard of it and rejoiced, and the daughters of Judah were glad, because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art the most high over all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. O ye that love the Lord, see that ye hate the thing which is evil. The Lord preserveth the souls of his saints. He shall deliver them from the hand of the ungodly. 
there is sprung up a light for the righteous, and joyful gladness for such as are true-hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks unto his holy name. The Lord is King, let the peoples tremble. He sitteth upon the cherubim, let the earth be moved. The Lord is great in Zion, and high above all the peoples. Let them give thanks unto thy name, which is great and wonderful, for he is holy. The king's power loveth judgment. Thou dost establish equity. Thou dost execute judgment and righteousness in Jacob. O magnify the Lord our God, and fall down before his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among such as call upon his name. These called upon the Lord, and he heard them. He spake unto them out of the cloudy pillar, for they kept his testimonies and the law that he gave them. Thou heardest them, O Lord our God. Thou forgavest them, O God, though thou didst punish their doings. O magnify the Lord our God, and worship at his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the book of the prophet Micah, the seventh chapter, beginning at the seventh verse. But as for me, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice over me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord, because I have sinned against him, until he pleads my cause and executes judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light. I shall behold his deliverance. Then my enemy will see, and shame will cover her who said to me, Where is the Lord your God? My eyes will gloat over her. Now she will be trodden down like the mire of the streets. A day for the building of your walls. In that day the boundary shall be far extended. In that day they will come to you from Assyria to Egypt, and from Egypt to the river, from sea to sea, and from mountain to mountain. But the earth will be desolate because of its inhabitants, for the fruit of their doings. Shepherd thy people with thy staff, the flock of thy inheritance, who dwell alone in a forest in the midst of a garden land. Let them feed in Basham and Gilead as in the days of old as in the days when you came out of the land of Egypt, I will show them marvelous things. Here endeth the first lesson. The Office of Morning Prayer continues on page 7. We praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens, and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee the Father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true, and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, Thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God, in the glory of the Father. 
we believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints, in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. The second lesson is written in the Acts of the Apostles, the third chapter beginning at the first verse. Now Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. And a man lame from birth was being carried, whom they laid daily at that gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of those who entered the temple. Seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. And Peter directed his gaze at him with John and said, Look at us. And he fixed his attention upon them, expecting to receive something from them. But Peter said, I have no silver and gold, but I give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up and immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. And leaping up, he stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God, and recognized him as the one who sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. Here endeth the second lesson. The Office of Morning Prayer continues on page 9. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers, and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham, that he would grant us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him, all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, For thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people, for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. 
Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and ever more mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty God, who through thine only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, hast overcome death and opened unto us the gate of everlasting life, we humbly beseech thee that as by thy special grace thou dost put into our minds good desires, so by thy continual help we may bring the same to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversary through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who art afflicted in the afflictions of thy people, regard with thy tender compassion those in anxiety and distress. Bear their sorrows and their cares, supply all their manifold needs, and help both them and us to put our whole trust and confidence in thee. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers this morning for all those who need prayer, whether they have particularly asked us to pray for them, or whether the Spirit of God puts it into our hearts to pray. As we make intercessions for them this morning, we remember that we are coming into God's presence with them on our hearts. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Again, thanks for praying with us this morning. I hope that these daily services of morning and evening prayer are a blessing to you. And if so, I hope you'll take a few moments to share some love with our friends in the parish of St. Mary the Virgin. They pray morning and evening services on Mondays through Fridays at times that are complementary to our own. So when we pray in the morning, they pray in the evening and vice versa. You can follow them here. There's a link to their YouTube channel, and I hope that you'll come back and join us again tomorrow. Until then, be good, God bless, and take care of each other. Bye-bye.